dumped on the side of our roads when no one's watching. Animals abandoned by their owners. Contact 5 investigator Dan Krauth tonight has a behind-the-scenes look at a growing problem. What we went searching for. There is one straight inside the, the tree farm. Wasn't hard to find. Almost got hit. Dogs dodging traffic. We're the babies before it starts pouring on us. Let's get them out. We can't find them. Braving the elements. Right over here. And left starving outside. And you can see the bones sticking out of these animals' bodies. And I don't know who to call. There's no address here. Instead of dropping them off at the pound. They dump them out here in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of the Everglades. This is dire. Dire. There are no words to describe how dire this is. It's against the law to abandon an animal. But out here, there's no way to track it. No one watching. And no sign it'll stop anytime soon. Hell on earth. Hell. There is no worse hell than what we're standing in right now. Come here, sweetie. Hi, baby. How are you, my sweetie? Our cameras roll. It's okay. It's okay. As we followed two groups of volunteers for two days. Hi, sweetie. And found dog. After dog left for dead. You find three or four dead dogs every day. Some run alone. Others run toward us in packs to be rescued. There's a dog skull here. But for many, Come it's on. too late. Come on. They're like a domesticated pet that somebody dumped and didn't want anymore. Almost every animal rescued out here has not been spayed or neutered, like this dog about to give birth any minute to up to 10 pups. So the problem continues to multiply. And they're all out there getting pregnant right now. <laughs> this litter rescued just a few weeks ago. Some are lucky enough to be picked up and adopted, like Tigger in West Palm Beach. They had completely shattered leg and one dislocated hip. Good boy, come on. You wouldn't know it by looking at him now. I know, good boy. But he was hit by a car and found along the side of the road. You know, I don't have kids. I treat him like a child. So I don't understand how people could treat animals like that. He's cute, huh? Gracias, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. But there's only a few volunteers patrolling these streets. So they're just all over the place. Yes. Come here, mommy. Why are people dumping them instead of taking them to a shelter where they can get help? I don't know. It'd be better to take them, uh, you know, to a shelter, a police station, a fire station, just like they do with babies. There you go, buddy. The volunteers don't have enough room oh, boy. or enough money to house them. Most of the animals are sick. And you can stop and feed them, but I can't take them all. The last dog, we can't catch it. He's running. And some can't be caught, continuing to run. We're going to leave him all by himself. The only thing they know how to do to survive. It's breaking my heart. Where's he going to go for food? This sucks. This really sucks. When there's a spike in foreclosures, volunteers say they also see a spike in the amount of dogs running the streets. Together, both of these groups have rescued more than 1,500 animals in just the past two years. Now, for more information on these all-volunteer rescue groups and how you can help, head to our website, WPTV.com. Dan Krauth, WPTV, News Channel 5.